Hello everybody and welcome back to stream number eight of my Kingdom Hearts 1 Let's Play. Hope everybody is well. Um, last week when we finished up, we was right at the end of the... Um, I think we're right at the end of the Neverland section. And we were taking on Captain Hook. To which uh, I thought we'd actually done it just right before we finished streaming. But unfortunately, we was like literally like literally the tiniest little bit of health bar left from doing it so tonight we're going to pick up from that captain hook boss battle we will continue and um yeah hopefully we can uh get towards uh our goal i think i don't think um we're a million miles away probably from the end here i'm i'm not sure i know we're on like the last section on the gummy ship map we've gone through the last portal It'll be quite interesting to see what we get after this. So, um, yeah, exciting times ahead indeed. We're still with your latest article. Congratulations, Virus. How long have you been working on that one for? Okay, so let's think about what we're going to do here. Yeah. I look back at the um, the recording when I was doing the edit last week to put it onto YouTube and the trimming, and um, it was literally just like a tiny sliver that we were short by, which is insane. We need to go to a shop, really, and um, buy some more potions and things by the looks of this. We're uh, not doing too good in the whole potion section here process the article for a few months okay have you done the article in that like new style that you did your previous one in or is this more back more akin to like the older article kind of style to remember where we're going here. Oh, okay. More, um, more of a structured article this time then, rather than kind of like taking what you classed as a risk before. These uh, enemies don't seem to have a very big health bar. They seem to sort of explode a lot. My potion, that's very welcome at the moment. Deep freeze! Napaz. How's it going, buddy? Good to see you as always. Welcome along. Not, not, no academic style, but for uh, broad readers. Okay. Gotcha. Um, just sort of said, like, we, we took this on at the end of last week's stream, Napaz, and we literally had, like, the tiniest sliver. Um, let me just see if I can find it, because I did, I sent a, a picture of it to somebody. Um, let me just uh, find the picture. So yeah, this was... Um, if I quickly add... They captured. This is, this is how we finished up last week on the final fight. 
literally as we died and you can see we had like the tiniest 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 little bit of health on hook left i i literally kind of thought peter pan was behind him and i was like come on pan surely you've got it and clearly i just got too close to hook and he finished me off with to be fair up to that point i had quite a bit of um i had quite a large amount of health left so he, he really hit me for six to be fair but um yeah i don't think um hook is particularly difficult i don't feel so hopefully we can um get on with it pretty well um also as, as well as like the, the flying controls in this area um there are this although they're very much akin to the atlantis area they're very much um a lot better if that makes sense than uh they were in the swimming area so um yeah anywho my goodness can i like not attack a barrel maybe My only concern here is like I've got to try and keep my magic on top of my magic a bit here because I don't have I can't really rely on too much on health potions. I've not been to a shop for ages and I'm almost out of potions and high potions and things, so What's quite nice about this boss I found uh, last week, though, is that because you can fly, you can actually fly away. It gives you a chance to recover the health of your team, so... When it comes to a fight with Hook, I'm not going to worry too much about the ships. I'm just going to concentrate more on dealing with Hook, I think. What? Wow. Like, insta-dead. That was a uh, good start to the stream. Uh, not worried too much about fighting these guys. Yeah, the sea. I, I, yeah, I don't want to keep going, saying, re repeating myself over and over again. But the the sea area was under the sea was terrible. I think uh, you mentioned, though, that uh, you also were not a fan of the Under the Sea area, Napaz. I think it's quite good though in this um this section that they gave they give you like this like introduction kind of fights here 
as annoying as it is when you kind of like just want to get on with the boss fight, it's quite nice the fact that, oh, okay, we're giving you a new mechanic, so here's a little area where you can just practice flying around and, and get used to everything. Pretty, pretty nice that they did that. Even if I uh, up off onto this guy for some reason. Alright, let's try and pay a bit more attention this time. Sora. Oh great, hands dead. See what's going on here. Boom. He died. That was easier than last week. Arcs a cannon. We've got Ansem's report number nine. Oh, Kyrie couldn't wake up, so maybe she's really lost her. Sora, I still can't believe it. It really flew. Wait till I tell Kyrie. I wonder if she'll believe me. Probably not. You can bring her to Neverland sometime. Then she can try it herself. If you believe, you can do anything, right? I'll find Kyrie. I know I will. There's so much I want to tell her about flying, the pirates, and everything else that's happened. What's that thing? What about the clock tower? You say there's something there. Windy. You'll find us alright, just don't give up. I can still fly. Cool. Okay, so we've got another save point here. Um, I also want to sort out this a little bit. Um, you're on my quick buttons. There we go. 
cheeky save. So you said the clock tower, but then like... We need to go somewhere else. I mean, Wendy's here, but... Thanks to Big Ben, you can tell the time from anywhere in London. One of the clocks is off. I do hope it doesn't confuse too many people. Ha. Huh. Yeah, I was going to do that, but... Still not really sure what it is with this game and, like, clocks and stuff. Clocks seem, I've noticed, seem to be like a recurring theme in the um, areas. There be another lock sealed. Hey, Sora. Hmm? When we grow up, Let's get off this island. We're going to real adventures, not this kid stuff. Hey, you know the new girl at the mayor's house? She arrived on the at night on the meteor shower. Arrived at the night of the meteor shower, interesting. Maybe Riku's been tainted since a young age. It was reckless to bring her here without at least using a vessel. Remember, relying too heavily on the dark times could cost you your heart. Cast away. Though his world perished, his heart did not. When we took the princess from his castle, he apparently followed her here through sheer force of will. But fear not. No harm will come to you. He is no match for your power. My power? Yes. The untapped power that lies within you. It's time you awakened that power and realized your full potential. Peter, are you really going back to Neverland? Afraid so, but we can see each other anytime. As long as you don't forget about Neverland, that is. again do me a favor look after her for me will ya what 
Learn the summon spell Tinkerbell. We've got the fairy harp. And the ability glide. Ready. Let's have a look then. Raise maximum people one and enhances magic and summon power, sometimes deals powerful critical blows. Alright. Check out abilities. See if we've got anything new. Got plenty new, but I mean, we need more AP, I guess. Oh, it was a shared ability. Okay. While in the air, press circle button to ride the air currents. Spend anything on Goofy. All right. You just stay in there now, Pam. Is that? There, like Peter Pan just looks completely weird. No, he looks really creepy. Just like how far we can actually like go out of this area before it kicks us back. Okay, that's it. Invisible wall. I guess there's nothing else other than Big Ben to sort of look at here. I do wonder if there's like stuff above. Well, to be fair, I wouldn't be surprised if there were puzzle elements in this Mika, if I'm honest. You know, given the the type of game it is, these these sorts of games, RPGs, often have puzzles. So it's not um, it's not a complete complete long shot that uh, it, it wouldn't be a puzzle of some description in here. So uh, yeah, I am of the mind that. There is something to do with the clocks, but um, we'll have to wait and find out, I guess. Well, we found the Navigummy piece. Let's go back to town. It'll install it on the ship once we bring it to him. This tournament being held at the Coliseum. Here's a great reward for the winner. Okay, I wonder if that's a different one to the one that we did before. Right, let's go to Traverse Town. And um, get this uh, navigation put on, which will be the accessory shop, is it? I think it's first district they want to be in. And we heard this like so much at the beginning of the game. It seems such a long time ago. All right, Sid. Let me see it. Okay, wait here. Get it installed right now. Just remember what Donald said to you. No frowning, no sad faces. How can you be so cheerful? There's still no sign of your king. Aren't you worried? I'm worried. The king told us to go out and find the key bearer, and we found you. So as long as we stick together, it'll all work out okay. You just got to believe in yourself, that's all. Just believe. 
I believe in you. Am I? Long ago, people lived in peace, bathed in the warmth of light. One loved the light. People began to fight over it. They wanted to keep it for themselves. And darkness was born in their hearts. The darkness spread, swallowing the light in many people's hearts. It covered everything, and the world disappeared. The small fragments of light survived in the hearts of children. With these fragments of light, children rebuilt the lost world. It's the world we live in now. But the true light sleeps deep within the darkness. That's why the worlds are still scattered, divided from each other. But someday, a door to the innermost darkness will open, and the true light will return. So listen, child, even in the deepest darkness, there will always be a light to guide you. Believe in the light, and the darkness will never defeat you. Your heart will shine with its power and push the darkness away. You understand, Kyrie. Kyrie? the matter um nothing Kyrie did you call me stole that navigation gummy but you know that place is crawling we're heartless don't say I didn't warn you yeah take this along transform G I didn't want the gummy menu, I wanted to shop. Oh no, hold on. Sid's only got um That's right. Sid's only got the stuff here to We should probably check the synthesis shop, actually. Oh yeah, we need the actual items, don't we? Looks like everywhere. Go for items. Alright, so... I don't know how to do this. Let's synthesize. Fim, 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 five. I don't have enough stuff for that. Rune armlet. The way they can, I can see. I think there's a way we can actually see what each thing does, which is a little frustrating. No, I think it's. Um, I think it's actually a cigarette. Um, I could be mistaken. Uh, Papirius. So we've got most things here now. We just need to like make two other things. Which is interesting. All right, so now let's head down to the shop. They say a boy won the tournament, Kupo. Yeah, it was me. All right, let's buy. We need to stock up.
You had to use a new word that you learned from me? Can you not buy potions? Oh, blade of grass. I need to, I'm sure it's... Um... No, I think it's actually a toothpick, like a tooth, an extra large toothpick. I should really know the amount of times I've played Final Fantasy VII and um, had to sit in my party, but... Uh... Here we go. Okay. I don't even know what like I've got equipment wise for Donald and Goofy. Warhammer and the Mage's staff. Stout shield and night shield, okay. Go to this one. Uh, we'll go for the Gigas Fist because I've got um, Goofy more in an uh, attacking role than a defensive role, so. Okay, so let's head on back to Okay, this this still kind of um, baffles me a little bit. I get distracted, I know. Let me So there's this like puzzle here as well, which is interesting to me. Then I guess that's probably how we Okay, so I think like freezing these will make it last longer. There we go. Finally, we got that chest unlocked. One's been annoying me since we began, to be fair. All right. We don't know what's out there. Why don't we read these other worlds first? I'm sure we'll find some new items. Ah. Okay, is this kind of like a 
you're getting near to the point of no return sort of thing here. It's interesting. All right, let's head to the Colosseum then. Let's see if we can't do this um, other tournament, maybe. I know when we attempted it before, we came up against um, Squall and Yuffie. And uh, they obliterated us, so... Let's see what we can do this time, I guess. There's a Hercules Cup now as well. Alright, so we've done the Phil Cup. Um, so, yeah, there's the... This one... And then the Hercules Cup afterwards, it seems. Yo, Nathan, what's going on? Hope you're well. Good to see you. You're uh, doing well? <laughs> I don't think we'll ever see, like, a... Uh, a puzzle like tunic stuff like again to be fair it was so un so creative also so so unexpected as well which also kind of made it so enjoyable Did I kill him or did I just like knock him out of the air or something? That was weird. <laughs> Big combo. I think I can hit them when they're white, to be fair. Yeah, so when they're white, I can't hit these guys, which is kind of frustrating. to kind of um, work on keeping my health up at the minute.
I've got a lot of uh, magic left though, which is a bit of an issue. get my ass handed to me. I got rid of you, Fee. Well, I proved to be a bit more difficult, though. Finish him, Goofy. Finish him. No way. Yay! We beat them. We win the Pegasus Cup. Queen of one in 142 days. So somewhere in like the next sort of Four to five months, then I guess. We're the champs. We learned strike raid. All right, what was that um, ability that we just got? Who was it for? Strike raid is for Sora. Hurl the Keyblade an enemy. Select follow up attack to at the right time for a combo. All right, let's put that on. Where's two MP to uh, use it? All right, I guess we'll try the Hercules Cup then. I guess, I guess at the end of this, we'll probably have to fight um, Hercules, right? But hopefully they'll stay on track with their um, release schedule, the Furious. Kind of all ended pretty quickly. Wow, that attack is ridiculous. <laughs> wow, that attack is pretty darn impressive.
yeah, I'm sure it will deliver. First game was very well polished. And don't think they are the sort of people to like rush the development of something just to get it out quicker. They've had, uh, you know, a very successful game and um, which has had like on the back of that two very successful lead selling um, DLCs as well. He go. Oh, not cloud. Cloud just you may want to cut some slack sloud or sloud slack sloud slack cloud even wow cloud op jeez and that was only like the fourth seed as well all right, I'm not ready to take on Cloud. Clearly. Hopefully, and I, I mean, I can't see that it's going to be an issue, but hopefully they will... Um, Who's that? Hercules, yeah. You got, yeah, you got to fight Cloud, and then you got to fight Hercules... Them, which is, isn't surprising. Um, hopefully, they will um, see how well received the game is first period before playing any DLC. But I'm sure, as as long as they have put the same care and attention into it as they did the first, then um, I can't see there being any issue at all. So, my only hope is that, like, as, as much as I like, they put. The law in it. I kind of, my only hope is that they um, you know, almost like tone down a little bit on the like reading and, and the terminal information. That was the only thing I kind of negative I would say about the DLCs that there was so much reading and I felt like it was probably a good like 60% reading to 40% gameplay a lot of the time. But I guess when they're trying to portray a story and, and you know, fill in some of the void in the backlog, I can understand why they would do that. Given that the music has changed the way it has, I think like something big is coming at the end of here. That would make sense because the game has told me, you know, I'll go to other areas and see what you can get from other areas. So I kind of feel like we are getting towards like on the final kind of path to the end game here. Music's got like a very, it feels like it's got like a very dark feel to it at the minute.
That's a good job these like gummy ships don't like fire back at me, isn't it? And this one seems to be going on forever. I'm sure I keep like losing power. this up because this has been going on for ages. I think we made it. Is this Maleficent's castle? Hello, Bastion. Could well be. How do you mean by Portal 3 things, Papyrus? Because, uh, I don't think uh i think it's pretty pretty safe to say that we're uh, we're not going to get a portal 3 anytime soon 